Your arm, your hand is always tossing. So this is tossing. This is not tossing, but not doing anything either. So what we do is we, whatever that, that direction, don't change it. It goes like this. You can't just do this. Okay? So if it's here, it's okay. If it's here, it's okay. Doesn't matter where. Just to go straight like this here. And we imagine we do this. It's vertical, goes in. If vertical comes out, nothing happens. So this is say that you, your, all your movements are in slack. And if you go here, this is tossing. So our movement is you go here, you make a turn, and then you hold that position and lift it. Now the water is in the spoon. So this, can you see that now? So we can do that very easily. We go like this, and a turn, and then pick it up. So this is actually Tai Chi. So if you want more, you have to, in terms of a spoon, you have to make a spoon with a larger uh, deep, uh, dipper in it, larger bowl on the top of the, uh, that's the spoon has to be larger. But that, that thing here in Tai Chi, this is our curvature. From this here with a curvature here, it forms this shape. So this shape, when you do this here, you can hold something. The ability to hold is a pang is also adherence. Now, when you make this move here, you must imagine this hand stays here. It's still here, this arm, but you stretch it over here. Now imagine you created a spoon like this. Can you understand now? Yes, I was not that. So otherwise, you go like this. You are, t you are just pushing the spoon. You're not going to pick anything up. So at the beginning this, of this move, actually, it's like this. You see a big move like that, and I used to use the word to scoop it up. And in the straight sword form, there is a move called uh, uh, scooping up the, the, the moon from the bottom of the sea. Like this, holding the sword, it's like this. So now you see this here is actually scooping something scooping something here with your arm here going down here and then pick it up can you now with this explanation can you see the image now yeah so now let me explain in terms of uh, the technicality of our uh, little taiji principles it's called this move here if you don't do the scoop this is called the movement this is a revolution as you do that you add a rotation that revolution and rotation together, that's the scoop. And now, this is a very small scoop, the size of your armpit rotating, causing this much. But as you do that, you can increase this by dropping the shoulder and the quad. So all of these things is synthesized, it becomes a large scoop. And that, when you have the scoop, in technique, in push hands, it's called the bite. When you apply a technique on your opponent, you have to have the bite. In theory, we say you have to have the ad adherence. And in normal language, we say you have to stick. Like when you touch your opponent, he can't get away. You 